Ever caught yourself falling and visualizing yourself with someone who is not available? We've all admired or looked up to celebrities or people who have achieved greatness in either the form of wealth or status. But there's a difference between admiration and infatuation. Admiration is not limerence. Limerence is a romantic infatuation for someone that usually does not materialize into a relationship usually accompanied by delusions of or a desire for an intense romantic relationship with that person. Oftentimes, the person you fall for is unavailable physically or emotionally and therefore cannot provide or fulfill the needs you have. But you still love them. The love you feel becomes an obsession that can even be anxiety provoking. You find yourself constantly searching for hidden meaning in the little moments of contact if you've had any with them. So what are these slightly obsessive one-sided relationships? What do you call them? Well, the technical name would be limerent relationships. These types of relationships could be confused for projection or even parasocial relationships. While there are similarities, limerence is a bit more complex. It's a complicated version of unrequited love because it has multiple psychological layers to it. The person who is falling for the other as a result of their upbringing is trying to escape from the struggle that was created by their trauma. They retreat into their imagination or romanticized memories to survive and it's safer for them. Limerence is a way of protecting yourself because it is much safer living in a fantasized future of a relationship than going through the struggle of making and maintaining one. In a limerent relationship, the fears and anxieties are directed towards whether you've gained their acceptance, attention or love. But that's not how real relationships work. Two people enter a relationship knowing already that both people are interested and are ready to be in a relationship. Basically, in a limerent relationship, you fall in love with the idea of someone and hope they will fall in love with the idea of you. Whereas in a real relationship, you both are in love with the realities of each other. When you are in a limerent relationship, the limerent object or the person you've fallen in love with is simply a passive vehicle used to fill your emotional needs. They are passive because they either don't actively tell you they are interested or they are emotionally unavailable or incapable of having a healthy relationship with you. You might be wondering where or why this feeling of attachment happens. Limerence reveals a lot about your own needs. Psychology today calls it the desire to be desired. Hence it comes from past neglect or trauma in relationships. Relationships where you felt neglected, abandoned or ignored. Children of narcissistic parents or abusive parents are prone to this feeling. The deep desire to feel needed, loved and taken care of. It's a primary emotional need that was never met by their earliest caretakers. As we get older, we sometimes end up looking for people to fill those voids left behind. Hence, many people who had or have CPTSD come from toxic or neglectful upbringings, attract narcissistic partners, or escape into limerent relationships. We all want to fall in love and be wrapped up in feelings of safety or security, and we all deserve those feelings. But it's so much better when that happens organically and realistically instead of our imagination. Love is not just a noun, it's also a verb. It acts and does, it's materialized and tangible. It's not something that lives in the abstract recesses of your imagination. If someone tells you they're not interested, take their word for it, even if you think they may be lying. Why? Because even if they are and they lie about it, they aren't interested enough to tell you the truth. If you find yourself falling into limerent relationships, take time to be specific about what you want in a relationship. Be as specific as you can. Once you know what you want, it'll be much clearer what you don't and won't accept. I wish you luck on your romantic journey. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel.